Welcome back guys to a new Story Corner video and I hope you guys are enjoying these because they, they I think they're coming out really well. Um, <laughs> this is another story by my friend Jalisa and this one is called Please Don't Judge Me. Please don't judge me. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, my allergies are messing with me so bad. Please don't judge me, and I won't judge you. Just wanting to let you know, I am here for you, no matter what you've been through. I can't judge you, let alone disrespect for disrespect you because how can I judge you and I can't even judge myself how can I check you and can't even check myself I don't care about the money the fame the wealth but all I can ask you to do is to try to respect yourself I think you think I get over checking somebody who has done dirt when I can't say nothing about it because I've probably done worse. You're not alone in this. You're not the only one and you're not by yourself. You're strong. You're brave. You can do it. Don't let anybody tell you different. You're probably thinking, oh, she, she's just saying this because it sounds good. No, not really, because I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Please don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I understand it's not easy out here in this world. So you have to do everything in your power just to make it through. It may sound crazy, but yet it's true. Please don't judge me, and I won't judge you. But it's not easy in this world anymore. You have to do what you have to do. Crimes every day seems like it fades the world away. We're dying slowly. And it's up to us to make a change. This world is definitely not all fun and games. The game we do play is the game of life. It's up to us to not just double check, uh, double back twice. If the world has more understanding and less judgment, because only God can judge. So please don't judge me, and I won't judge you. And this world could be so beautiful. I think that stands on its own. I mean, really and truly, don't judge people. Don't judge them by one little action. I mean, I'm sure you've done worse than they've ever done in their life. I mean, I understand, you know, if it was a really, really, really bad crime or really bad action they did, that's understandable to an extent. But look at their life. Look how they grew up. Did they grow up with love? Did they get mistreated? Granted, I know some people didn't grow up bad. But that still doesn't mean that they didn't do bad things. So... Just because of the color of their hair or their 
body shape or their their thought process, their mental ability, their agility, their strength, just anything. Don't judge somebody just because of an action or how they look. People have scars and they're not always visible. Which, once they decide that they want to show you these scars, that's how you know they, they trust you and that they know that you won't judge them. But there are still those that are afraid of being judged because of how society is today. So please, whatever you do, don't judge a person by the look of their body, by their mental ability. Like this amazing story says, don't, please don't judge me and I won't judge you. Please be kind to everyone you meet. It may change their look on life if they have one simple, nice person to say that they look beautiful in whatever clothing they're wearing. Their smile looks great. Their hair looks amazing. Because you never know what they're going to do five minutes after you meet them. Um, before I get carried away, um, because I about stopped the video. Um, time for a new prompt. And again, you know, I can't just, you know, go to through the middle sometimes. I've got to go from the top because of how it's kind of packed in. Um, oh, this, oh, it's another big one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's another big one. Oh my god. Ever read about the world's loneliest whale? Write a story in which he's actually the survivor of an aquatic alien species, which crashed here eons ago, and he's trying very hard to learn the local whale language so he can fit in. Right from his perspective, the first time he makes contact. I guess that's another judgment thing, if you want to say that. Again, don't judge a book by its cover. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you again soon.